Kibla says, when we join the Imam in his last rak'ah of Maghrib, how will we pray the two remaining rak'ahs? Uh, and at which point you read loud, and what should you read uh, in this case? Whenever you join the Imam in a late rak'ah, he had already prayed one or two rak'ahs or three, it doesn't matter, you don't have to tell me which rak'ah is it, because simply the rule will not change. Because in the sound hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, فَمَا أَدْرَكْتُمْ فَصَلُّوا وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَأَتِمُّوا That is in the sound narration. فَمَا أَدْرَكْتُمْ فَصَلُّوا Whichever position that you join the Imam in, you find the Imam in when you enter the prayer, join him immediately. In ruku' and sujood, in the standing position, even in the last tashahud, join the Imam. And in this case, after the Imam finishes, what you need to do is resume, complete your prayer. The term fa'atimmu is very distinct and it is different than faqdu. What difference does it make? We'll explain after this call, inshallah. Now I was talking about the hadith which is collected by Imam Bukhari and its text that says, فَمَا أَدْرَكْتُمْ فَصَلُّوا وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَاتِمُوا What happens when you enter the masjid or join the jama'ah anywhere and you join it late and the Imam have already started his prayer. Simply and in plain English, whichever rak'ah you join the Imam with, you do not count which rak'ah is it for him. Rather, that is your first rak'ah for you. What concerns you is your own prayer. So if you join the Imam in the last rak'ah, as you mentioned in the Maghrib prayer, that is my first rak'ah. If I'm praying by myself, what do I do in Maghrib? I recite out loud in the first rak'ah and the second rak'ah. It is also prescribed to recite a surah or a few ayat after the recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha in the first and the second rak'ah. I've already prayed one rak'ah with the Imam. Again, don't ask which rak'ah was it when it comes to the Imam. Ask about yourself, which rak'ah is it for you? That is my first rak'ah, okay. But since you have been praying with the Imam, you follow him strictly. So he was quiet or reciting secretly because it was his third. And you have been following the Imam. Now when the Imam finishes the Maghrib and you get up to pray, you're only praying your second rak'ah. You're following the same order. You're playing your second rak'ah. In normal cases, what would you do in your second rak'ah? I would recite Al-Fatiha out loud. Then I would recite a surah or a few verses out loud. Uh, if you're praying by yourself as a female, you can recite in, in a way in, uh, where your voice, you can hear your own recitation. Okay? Then you sit for tashahud after your second rak'ah, which means now you will end up sitting for the tashahud with the imam because it was his last after your first rak'ah. And when you ended up praying by yourself after the Imam finishes, your second rak'ah, you should sit for a middle tashahud. Then after the third rak'ah, because this is the last tashahud, so if you join the Maghrib with the Imam in his last rak'ah, you'll end up praying three tashahuds. You sit with the Imam in his last, then the second rak'ah of yours, and the third and the last rak'ah of yours likewise. And when it comes to the third rak'ah, you recite quietly. You do not raise your voice because this is qira'atun sirriya, secret recitation. And you do not recite a surah after. That applies to maghrib and it applies to any other prayer. Let me give another example quickly. Let's take, uh, for instance, Aisha. You join the imam in his third rak'ah. In his third rak'ah. Again, the only concern that I keep in mind is how many rak'ah do I get to pray with the Imam? So that I know how many rak'ah I prayed. You prayed with the Imam now, the last two rak'ahs of the Imam. 
which were your first two rak'ahs. When the Imam makes the sleep, and I get up to pray my third and fourth rak'ah, I'm gonna recite a secret recitation because it's my third rak'ah and fourth. And I'm not gonna recite a surah after Al-Fatiha. And this is the opinion of the vast majority of the fuqaha based on the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu which says, فَمَا أَدْرَكْتُمْ فَصَلُّوا وَمَا فَاتَكُمْ فَأَتِمُّوا Complete. 